Two years ago, I coined a phrase, lead spiritually. And in that phrase, I talked about a simple metric for you to know if you're leading spiritually. The metric was this, bring God into a conversation where God would not have been talked about. Now, that's a wonderful first step, and it's a great way to lead spiritually because then you're opening up the conversation of, to be about exploration of God. Whether you have all the answers or you don't, God is at work in those conversations, revealing truth and helping you sort stuff out, especially if you root stuff back to the Bible. Now, there's something else that we want to do inside of our leading spiritually. As you lead spiritually, one of the jobs that we have to do as spiritual leaders or as more spiritually experienced people is we have to help others see where God is at work. That is a trick. That's hard to do because to do that, we have to assume a few things. Well, we have to believe a few things. One, we have to believe that God is at work. And two, we have to have an understanding of the pattern that God works in. And so we've got some frameworks to work with. We've got this, this um, biblical understanding of, of faith and then provision or promise and fulfillment. Um, those two are very, very similar. We have the idea of, of trust and obedience. And, and we see that, that if you trust God and you obey, then, then you see God at work. We have the idea of repentance for transformation. So these are all good ideas of how God is at work. And, and today I just want to talk about how we connect the dots for people so that they can see that God is at work. And this is spiritual leadership, where we're connecting the dots. We're allowing people to see that this that you experienced in your life is actually that. It is the same as what God has been doing. I have a book that I just have written, and it's called What on Earth is God Doing? And the purpose of the book is to help us see five different constant things that God is doing in our life so that we're able to understand how to connect the dots, help others see that God is at work. God is offering a, a promise that brings hope. He is asking us to take a risk in trusting Him. He is asking us to have our lives transformed by following Him. He is giving clarity as we ask him questions, and he is revealing his mission to us so that we would have purpose. All of those things are things that God is doing, and as a spiritual leader, we can start to connect the dots with people where, where they say, I am purposelessness. We can say, but God has a great mission, and you can have a part of that mission, bringing purpose to somebody. Where they're hopeless, we could say God has a great promise for humanity and you can have hope in this promise. Where they are without, uh, without like they're, they're lethargic, they're bored, they don't know what to do and, and, God's, and, and we can say God is offering you the ability to trust him which will take great risk on your part. We can talk about people who, who need order in their life and we can say God will bring order in your life as you follow his ways so that Christ is formed in you. And we can talk to people who don't have clarity in life and we can say, you can direct your questions and explorations to God and God will give you clarity. These are wonderful ways that we can start to lead spiritually by helping people connect the dots. The last thing I wanna mention and how to lead spiritually really, really, really is simple. You initiate a conversation about God. You help people connect the dots with what God is doing. And you commit to reading scripture out loud with them. Once a week, it takes 45 minutes. You can do it on the phone. You can do it on Zoom. You could do it, you could do it face to face over a coffee. But make sure you take time to open up scripture. You could start with uh, a gospel. You read a gospel one chapter every single time you meet once a week. You will lead spiritually because the Holy Spirit is at work in your life and in the life of the person who you're leading. These things don't put us in a power position. They actually put us in a humble position at the foot of Jesus who allows us to take part in 
what God is doing in this world. I hope you find this encouraging and instructive. Thank you.